What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the World's TV YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow so you don't miss out on any of this brand spanking new content moving forward. What's up, everybody? So I'm not actually a little late to this news party i actually made a reaction video to this like a couple days ago but for some fucking reason my uh video software like the the video framing of it didn't fit to the background so now here i am making another reaction video towards the whole skip bayless shannon sharp debacle on an episode of undisputed so i rewatched it this is a reaction take part two pretty much skip bayless disrespect shannon sharp's whole legacy as shannon sharp is not the biggest tom brady fan pretty much saying hey tom brady's not playing well this season he's kind of awful and skip bayless continues to meet ride tom brady like he's his own wife or something like that so we're gonna play the video enough of me talking let's get to this still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Yeah, that's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something in a question, I'm jealous. No. Yeah, I did well, what I did. I never said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I did what Who the fuck wants to be jealous of Baker Mayfield? That motherfucker is trash, bro. This is why I don't take Skip Bailey seriously. He says shit for ratings and shock value. You cannot sit there and listen to the words that come out this man's mouth and actually think he knows what the fuck he's talking about he's actually honest in the stuff that he says on his commentary of sports it's laughable the stuff that he says it's all for a show like come on now i did you make it seem like i was a bum i'm in the effing hall of fame okay, i so got three what? super bowls so what? so what he's way better than you were i'm better way than better. you yeah, what did that see what you do you take personal shots no when you for i don't take yeah. personal oh, shots you time started time it time out you would take a personal shot at me i so didn't take a personal shot at you wait a minute what are you talking about you, you know what that means when somebody takes their glasses off and they're about to talk to you they dead ass serious they ain't fucking around no more it's like yo listen all that cut all that key 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 in, all that joke and stuff that we was doing key 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 and shannon sharp term we, we nah we, nah we, we getting down to the nitty-gritty would take a personal put your glasses back and you on. see this is the thing i don't like about skip bro this motherfucker gets so mad when other people interrupt him trying to get a point across yeah he does the same thing every single fucking time to shannon sharp here's the thing i stopped watching this show okay i'm not a fan of undisputed i stopped watching this show ever since that whole true colors came out with the whole Kyrie irvin anti-semitism bullshit we I, I seen shannon sharp all of a sudden do a 180 flip calling Kyrie irvin now especially with the whole vaccine thing calling him out being super critical unfairly critical of him because the higher ups his boss has told him to so now all of a sudden he want to ch flip his script and change and change his tone i'm like yeah i'm behind Kyrie, you know but i ain't like that so that turned me off the show i don't watch undisputed anymore but when i did used to watch it back then skip billis always used to do that bullshit when shannon Sharp would try to talk and get a point across he's all like no 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 because he knows skip billis is like a man version of a woman when you are in the wrong and when he knows he's wrong he's about to get school the only tactic he resorts to is yelling and talking over you because he doesn't want to get hit with the facts and act and 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 and, and look dumb in front of an audience because he knows the shit that he's saying doesn't make any sense he's stating shit just for shock values not facts his opinions are just out there they don't make any type of sense whatsoever and when shannon sharp about to hit him with the with the facts with the one two haymaker oh no let me interrupt you insult shame the need to be right he's just like a woman that's the shame that's the same shit women do skip bayless does in every single debate against shannon sharp especially when it comes to lebron james tom brady or the cowboys that's the only three fucking main subjects that they seem to talk about this show that's another reason why i stopped watching it can i finish you're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you 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 dis Go ahead. you disrespect and, and you see, you see, hold on. I'm gonna stop the video right there. Imagine a dude who couldn't even make his high school basketball varsity team as a junior in high school. A dude who averaged one point per game as a senior in high school tell a professional three-time super bowl winning champion 
a Hall of Famer who made it to the highest competitive level playing the sport of football. Pretty much tell him, so what? What you accomplish on your athletic career doesn't mean nothing. I don't care about it. Hold on. Skip Bayless, if I'm Shannon Sharp, you don't talk about being all this tough guy, all this all this macho tough guy. You better unload the clip on that man. I would have been like, I would have came at Skip Bayless' neck on his throat like crazy. Hold on, Skip Bayless. You had, what athletic career do you got? You couldn't make the high school varsity team as a fucking junior. You got no athletic credibility whatsoever. You have no athletic bone whatsoever. The only reason you have a mic, you have a show, is because you get you have to talk about us. We are your meal ticket. If sports didn't exist, you wouldn't have a job. You probably be working at McDonald's somewhere or being a janitor or doing something irrelevant. Not having a voice. Not being on camera. You see, that's that shit I'm talking about. That new Fox money is starting to get to him. I think as soon as he signed his new Fox deal, he think that he could talk to athletes all type of way. And when they come and check him, all of a sudden he's quiet. Shannon Sharp, you should say, hold on. Richard Sherman checked you on your own show. You ain't say shit to him. Jalen Rose checked you on your own show when he brought up your horrible athletic past. Your horrible high school athletic career. Checked you. He, you ain't say shit back to him. I'm better than you. I don't know why he held back saying that. I would be like, no, no, no. Tom Brady may be better than me, but I'm better than you, Skip Bayless. I make this show run. People not going to sit here and listen to an old 70-year-old man talking nonsense bullshit about sports that he never played on a professional level. I'm a three-time motherfucking Super Bowl champion. I'm considered one of the best top five tight ends to ever touch a football in the NFL. I got a gold jacket that I didn't have to buy. I was a Division I athlete. Something that you wish you could have done but couldn't even sniffed. You were never good in sports, ever. Your resume, athletically, athletically, could never compare to mine's even if you wished for it to happen. So who the hell is Skip Billings talking about? So what? Shannon Sharp, whatever you accomplished. Nobody gets that. Man, fuck all that bullshit, bro. You have... I understand Shannon Sharp, you know, ebbs and flows. But man, somebody disrespects your legacy like that, you better check them. Because Shannon Sharp would have checked anybody else who did that. Damn sure would have che checked the black man who did that and said that shit to him. You had better check Skip Bayless the next time he gets out of line with you, bro. I understand you respect the man. You, you, you are very appreciative of him because he gave you this opportunity. But don't let nobody motherfucking disrespect your legacy. You talk about as a professional athlete, you had to get up early in the morning, grind, putting your body through rigors, torment, torture, missing family events, family, family quality time for some bum ass dude who thinks he's an athlete because he gets up four o'clock in the morning, dick riding LeBron James on social media every day and thinks that he's that he could say something about my legacy when he has no idea what it's like to put on knee pads to put on a helmet to put on cleats and actually get hit by 250 pound men on a week-to-week -week basis fuck all that bullshit and here's the thing i understand if you covered the sport for a very very long time let's like get bellish does your opinion holds some type of weight we want to hear people's opinion especially fans opinion fans opinion on a particular sport because fans make the sport if it wasn't for the fans there would be no sport Okay, especially beat writers. They're around the team. They cover the team. They cover the specific, a specific sport for a very, very long time. And we like to hear opinions of people outside of professional athletes. But your opinion does not hold more weight than a professional athlete who actually played the sport. This man, Shannon Sharp, has experience at the highest motherfucking level. Has done it in the National Football League. One of the most gruesome sports out there. And you tell that man, so what? You guys can agree to disagree. I understand it's the it's a debate show. But now you're just trying to flat out embarrass your partner. Your man God, your main right hand man who makes the show go. You can't debate by yourself. You need somebody to debate with. And I and listen, this this relationship may not be the same as this, because I know Shan Sharp, I don't know him, but Shan Sharp's like, damn, bro. All right, you're going to keep, keep, keep taking shots at me? Cool. You know what? From now on out, it's strictly cordial. I ain't texting you after the show. We ain't buddy buddies. We just going to come in, do what we got to do, be professionals, and clock out. I ain't rocking with you like that, bro. 
you really try to disrespect that man's legacy and this is why nobody takes Skip Bayless seriously because he's a clown and the fact you to put your glasses back on Shannon Sharp I wouldn't have blamed Shannon Sharp if he had got up put his glasses in his pocket and slapped the living daylights out of Skip Bayless just straight backhand him pal come on bro what we doing? What you doing, bro? I mean, it's, it's just so. It, so it's, you, it's, you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no, support him. No, well, I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player yeah, ever played it. your game, yeah, and it's by far. It. Have it. Okay. Yeah, man. Skip Bayless, man. You suck that man off. You talk about Tom Brady more than you talk about your own wife. I'm starting to think Skip Bayless may be a little bit gay because there ain't no way in hell. You talk about the Dallas Cowboys. You suck off Tom Brady. You suck off Michael Jordan. Bruh. Don't don't you show your wife some love? Come on, man. Shannon Sharp, you look like a fool in this. He tried to embarrass you. Embarrass a professional athlete. A Hall of Fame professional athlete on national television. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I and I saw he held back. No, you 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 had better unload on Skip Bellis next time he he says some disrespectful shit like that. Come on, man. You, you, you making the black community look bad don't have, don't ever let that shit slide ever again and like i said i am no fan of shannon sharp i am no fan of the show but disrespect no matter what it comes from whether i like the person or not should never ever be tolerated let me know what you guys think about this whole exchange between shannon sharp and skip Bellies. do you agree or disagree with what i said do you agree or disagree with what skip said to shannon or what shannon said back to skip let your comments be known down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on our social media platforms. I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.